नमस्ते शिमला दीदी नमस्ते एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन जी नमस्ते सुनील जी सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम सो वी हैव कंप्लीटेड लेक्चर नाइन यस्टरडे एंड वी वर आस्ट टू रिफ्लेक्ट on all the you know assignment that we got yesterday to reflect on was regarding lecture 9 um and after we do this discussion we will need to go back to the exercise that we had started and we did exercise 1 step 1 2 and 3 and then we'll today we'll be starting with step 4 so like we said this is uhv 3 we are doing lectures interspersed with that we are doing the exercise 1 and 2 exercise 1 is to observe the self by the self exercise 2 is to observe the body of course and the self by the self so in exercise 1 we did steps 1 2 and 3 and today we will discuss step 4 but before we do that um about what was discussed yesterday if there are observations if there are questions um if anybody has been reflecting on this uh what was discussed in lecture 9 that human being you know what is our participation in this existence and how every other order the physical order the bio order the animal order have a predefined participation they are in harmony with that participation only in our case we may not have understood the role you know our role in this existence and therefore we may not be harmony in harmony and we may be disturbing the harmony in the existence also so have we been able to reflect on this and have we been able to um see where are you know we are missing in our role so if anybody has any observations about this or if there are any questions regarding lecture 9 yesterday with this discussion we can talk about it now namaskar madam namaskar to all madam what i observed suppose uh, regarding other orders for example i take one uh, uh, physical order air uh, it is uh, abundant and it is uh, everywhere it is self organized uh, due to that only we are able to breathe in fresh air and we are living very happily and it is uh, playing its role it, it is recognizing uh, its uh, role and uh, it's fulfilling but as we him human being suppose if i encourage i can say if i support it if i support its uh, participation means i should know i should uh, keep the air fresh always that's my responsibility what i feel yes suppose if i do so i will be very happy i can happily breathe in air uh, suppose if i pollute it definitely uh, i will be unhappy i feel discomfortable so my role is uh, to continue its uh, existence so what yes. i feel like that like water uh, so nobody created it. Uh, it it itself is there everywhere for lakhs of people it is there so unnecessarily we human beings are uh, uh, disturbing the existence that's why my role is to continue its existence uh in the extreme case uh, we will die also out of uh, suppose if the, if it, if it is too much polluted so that is the consequences if we don't cooperate uh, if you don't understand uh, to be in harmony with uh, nature given by god what i feel madam yes very true see uh, this is you know you have described very beautifully our role in the existence with regard to the physical order similarly ah, yeah. the bio order with the animal order we ah, can ah, see ah. that they are all fulfilling for us oh ah, yeah all for example i told one because of time 
and for every other unit no no i understand that so i'm just smart. saying that we can appreciate how every unit is fulfilling for every other unit yeah yeah madam and uh, one more thing i uh, uh, observed mm. the other thing which describe which discriminates uh, the human order with others uh, the discrimination power and all that is given by god i feel to uh, live as a human being and to fulfill uh, uh, its objective not to exploit the other orders what i feel that's why as long as we don't utilize it properly we will be affected and uh, we will affect others also so that's what i observed madam nice very nice uh, madam thank you what we are you know when we refer to god eventually we'll also try to see that what is that you know Uh -huh. Yes. No. So uh -huh. it is there. Everything is there in this, you know, existence. Yeah, yeah, madam. Space is also there. Units are also there, and this existence is going on and on. Mm hmm. It is there uh -huh. in continuity. Yeah, and madam. This definiteness at the base of the existence. This is there with all the orders. Mm hmm, madam. That's how it is. It is predefined. Yeah, yeah. In our case, <laughs> ha, yeah, man. What I observed is that yes, we have the choice. So only when we understand it will we be able to exercise that choice and have you know make the right choice in favor of living with this pattern of the existence which already exists. Ah, madam. Yes. So we are the only ones out of line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To fix it, we have to understand. <laughs> and uh, if we had not been given that uh, power also madam i feel uh, then everything would be in harmony <laughs> so yes. because we had been given the power uh, to utilize uh, whatever we wish in in, in the way yes. uh, we have been misutilizing and we will be uh, means what causing unhappy just like a industrial revolution in the beginning of that uh, it is thought uh, okay we have been uh, uh, improving like that but the undesirable consequences uh, what can we feel its uh, uh, consequence uh, suppose global warming and all now we are concentrating on how to decrease uh, the depletion of ozone layer like that uh, and uh, food uh, regarding food everywhere uh, we are uh, facing that uh, what i observed madam yes very true so we need to shape up we need to understand things better and then make the right choices in our living yeah Before yeah madam so as long as we don't understand then you see everybody wants to do right wants to live right mm -hmm. the lack of understanding is what is doing this yeah so, yeah madam really madam so understanding is key so that's why if we have the right understanding this can be the impact every yeah. human being will have the clarity of their own role in this existence yeah yeah madam i tell the same thing to my children also madam nice you just understand and uh, see what is good and all if you don't understand means uh, definitely we are tempted to do many things once we understand the consequences and all then you can do the right thing then i tell like that madam then they are becoming good also i myself <laughs> am amazed <laughs> uh, not uh, after the uhv also before that but after uhv uh, it, it has increased mm -hmm. so it's uh, the practical way what you are providing us that has uh, that is really working uh, practically we are seeing the result madam nice very nice thank you madam thank you yes i tried observing this madam uh, like human being uh, we are more developed one and uh, we have this uh, extra power like understanding so if we are having right understanding then we are uh, not disturb we become fearless uh, i can sense that and if we don't have the understanding properly then there is disturbance within and if i am if the one is disturbed within then consequently the human being will disturb the other order also oh. uh, so uh, madam like as it is said that yes if we if one is in harmony any order then that is 
happy and if we are happy is uh, we are like prosperous and we can spread that but as i can see on this screen uh, as it is mentioned that you uh, animal they have predefined participation and they are harmony and performing their participation mm -hmm. so um, madam but um, animals don't have that right understanding mm -hmm. they have their predefined uh, so how can we say that without right understanding they are in harmony but because we say they are no, in harmony without understanding they are in harmony hello hello they have no choice they have predefined roles yes so it is just so in the existence that is how it is mm -hmm. not that they understand they don't have the potential to understand mm -hmm. so right. don't say that they understand no where have we said they understand we say that is how they are that is how it is in this existence each part is playing its role we say that every unit is energized it is self organized it is recognizing its relationship and fulfilling that relationship we are not saying that it has understanding actually isn't it yes in But our case then... uh, please go ahead sir uh huh. but then uh, they uh, okay understanding part i understood uh, they are in harmony because they have their predefined existential mm -hmm. role so if we say they, they are in harmony then they must be happy now we are not talking about happiness in them see happiness is a what is happiness to be in harmony but the impact of that is you feel comfortable within isn't it as a self you know you have some feeling in the self okay right now if you are saying that this self again we come back to that same question what you know where you like how would you know that there is a self or there is no self remember we had that discussion for the self to function self is a unit of consciousness let's be very clear about that when we are talking of plants when you're talking of the bio order when you're talking about the physical order these are material units these are def different units from the consciousness units is that clear the consciousness unit is the self the self is associated with the animal body or the human body because there there is a brain that is sufficiently developed with which the self can you know um, exercise its um, impact on the body but in the case of the bio order the physical order these are material units so there if you remember that chart we had between you know differences between the self and the body the material and the consciousness units we spoke of you know the need of the body the activities in the body right there is no feeling there in the body do you recall that uh, yes, yes yes the difference yes yes so now if you look at all the material units there is no question of happiness as such right because there is no self there and even in the case of the animal if you see the animal is largely concerned with selecting and tasting so it is to do with when the things are you know the animal selects and tastes according to its likes dislikes or whatever that is predefined for it so you will see that in that matter it is always deciding making that decision and uh, doing it in a predefined manner with uh, having the consequences of being in line with the existence only when the human being intervenes 
you find that there is a problem. So even in pets, if you see pets, you see stray dogs and all, you don't find them to be fat. No? But you look at pet dogs, how many of them you will find that are overweight? Many will be there. Can you appreciate that? Mm -hmm. So what has happened here? Human being has intervened and decided to feed the dogs more than they require. No? But if the dog was left to itself, it will not overeat. Yes, true. Uh, but in forest also, or these animals, they are always in the protection of their self. Like uh, somebody will eat means other animal or uh, they struggle for the food. So how we can say that they are happy? Now the self exists in them. We are not saying they are happy. Are we talking of happiness in the animal? We, if you remember the nature chart, we said that in the animal, there is a will to live. Where is the question of happiness? Mm -hmm. The animal just has a will to live because it has yes. assumed itself to be the body. Yes, yes. So it is just looking at everything like it is the body. So it will try to protect the body. It will try to protect itself. It has a will to live. And so there is fear if uh, the existence of the body is in question. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, yes. But we don't talk of happiness in the animal. Okay, understood, call, understood. Yeah, the animal we said has a will to live. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to the human being, we said we not just have a will to live, we want to live with happiness and we want to live in happiness in continuity. This is what continuous. Yes, yes, yes. So that right, is right. something that the human being wants. But if you see mm -hmm. in the animal, it is largely looking at pleasure. Likes, mm. dislikes, selecting, tasting. No, it has right. totally assumed itself to be body. And so it has a predefined role in that form. It doesn't have the ability to know at this time. Right. right. Because of the limitation of the brain of the animal and so many things. And the self, you know, in the animal. It's not developed. After, uh, it is less developed than a self associating with the human being. Therefore, it is associated with the animal. Therefore, it doesn't have the ability to know in that form. So, you know, it cannot make those choices. Good morning. Yeah, so uh, I'm not able to express it, but uh, since this USB3 has started, Mm -hmm. And this uh, higher activity D1 uh, got initiated. Mm -hmm. So I can feel that at every moment. And I am able to see that my behavior is also uh, changing. And I can see that effect of my behavior on others while driving in mm -hmm. the workplace, at home. And even uh, when I, uh, in the night, whenever uh, I get up, so at that time also that uh, imagination is going on about this. <laughs> <laughs> so it's so harmonious to feel that and yes. it's really wonderful. Nice. So I, I don't have any particular uh, uh, sharing right now. Yes. I just want to thank you all. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you for the participation. Thank you to all of you for the participation. And I have to say here that, you know, it is, this is uh, playing our role, isn't it? We are trying to develop ourselves with the help of discussion, with the help of exploration, and we are all helping each other as a team, as a, you know, larger order. Yeah, very cool. Nice. Uh, I just wanted to share uh, that is from the experience in my workplace. Uh, mm -hmm. 
that is for more than two decades myself and uh, the other faculty we were so thick friends but uh, as soon as the other one the, uh, my friend uh, he got a very good position as uh, head of the department for example mm -hmm. so when he had the authority and the power but I was able to feel initial stages, it was uh, the relationship between both of us, it was very fine. But as the days prolongs and uh, due to various other circumstances, there was a drastic change in behavior. I was able to observe because there were uh, total uh, ignorance. He would completely, because I felt so bad at that time. Uh, now I am able to recollect all my experiences after uh, various discussions over here in the UHV, I, uh, for the past uh, or two months, I'm uh, daily uh, listening how we have to change ourselves and how we have to adapt to the right understanding and the right feeling. Uh, so my expectation was uh, to a higher extent, I hope. And therefore, uh, uh, now, after uh, discussions with the various uh, natures, that is animal behavior, human behavior, etc., consciousness, therefore I thought, yeah, uh, we should uh, first develop in ourselves, we should understand ourselves with the right feeling and then uh, we can uh, uh, showcase with our uh, uh, feeling to the others and then we can mold them up. And therefore, this part, um, as a self, uh, now slowly I have changed my mind after attending all these programs. Now, slowly I have made my mind, yeah, uh, the expectation level I have brought down and uh, to move with the, in a harmony level, whatever may be the circumstances of the others, I will just uh, understand their uh, way and then we will mold ourselves and we can reflect from our behavior to the others. Let them understand uh, the values of relationship and etc. And uh, uh, this is what I just wanted to share with the, uh, others. Uh, Very nice. Yeah, you have, you have put forward your observations. I'll just make a few observations in this. So um, when we say that, you know, we all, you know, as human beings, we all need to understand. And we right now may not understand the existence the way it is because we are busy seeing the form, we are seeing the variety, the change, and we interpret it in our own way because of our past assumptions, past experiences, and so on. Yeah. And therefore, like you said, we may have unreal expectations. Mm -hmm. So nothing wrong with having expectations. Mm -hmm. But when these expectations are realistic, mm -hmm. then they may be met. Okay. But at the same time, if our expectations are unreal, okay. or even if they are realistic, but they are not met, okay. we don't have to link it with our happiness. Our happiness comes from the right feeling within us. Within us. Okay. That's when we understand, mm -hmm. then we can have the right feeling within. Okay. Then no matter what happens outside, oh it doesn't lead to unhappiness in us. That's one thing. The other thing that when we say, you know, we have to mold ourselves, we have to mold the others. See, I would say we need to understand. Uh, because if we refer to our natural acceptance, this tool is already within us. Hmm. We can appreciate what is our natural acceptance? We said our natural acceptance is for relationship, it is for harmony, it is for coexistence. Mm. And so, accordingly, we can have the right feeling. The feeling is in the B2 block. Okay. The natural acceptance is at the point of realization in the B1 block. Can you see this? Mm. So, now with that, we align our B2 block, our feelings, our thoughts, our expectations, in line with the natural acceptance. Okay. Then we are in harmony. So this is what essentially we are saying. The same words, I'm just putting other words for clarity of okay. what we are yeah. saying. Yes. And for others, not that we have to mold them or change them. Okay. We just have to help them understand. 
understand. Again, we must be very clear that they will understand at their own pace. So mm. I cannot make somebody understand, isn't it? Yes. Like if if I am saying something, supposing I have some. Say there is somebody who has complete right understanding. Now, when that person is saying something to an, to me no, and discussing it, how will they discuss it with words? The words cannot really um, give me everything about the existence, the way it is. What that other person is seeing may not be apparent to me because when I hear those words, I hear them through my own assumptions, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. But eventually, whatever that other person is saying regarding the understanding, regarding the clarity that that person has, only when I see it in myself will I have the clarity also, isn't it? No. So that seeing myself, that only I can do. Nobody can make me see. But certainly they can help in the process. So similarly, we can help others understand. We can't make them understand. Okay. So we help them, we make effort, but at the same time, we can also see that they may be at a different level of evolution than us. So some people may understand more, they may explore more, they may understand more. Some people may be more busy with the outside still, they may not understand at this time. But we will make that effort, we will provide the information, no? Yeah. Yes. And then see that, you know, eventually we will have that acceptance that, you know, they will understand at their own pace, and eventually they will. But if we can uh, try to help them, this is our participation with them. So, seeing our relationship, participating in the relationship, that itself leads to my happiness. That itself, uh, you know, I can see that I am in harmony and so I am happy. Now, I'm not trying to change them so that I can be happy. I'm just trying to help them out of concern as my participation. Yes, and they will understand at their own pace. Okay. The two we must see separately. Otherwise, we link the two and then we become unhappy when they don't understand. Yeah? Yes. And I'm responding not just for you, but for everybody in general, just yeah. to clarify. Yes. Nice. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. Good morning, Didi. Good morning, everyone. Didi, regarding animals, I have this question always in mind regarding pet dogs. Uh, even I have one, so I cl uh, closely observe uh, its behavior. Uh, so uh, uh, whenever I'm not there, uh, the same food, it will refuse to eat the same like time duration and all. So it mm -hmm. will remain hungry uh, the, the whole day. Uh, but then would not eat. But then when I come back, then it gets very excited, and then it eats. And sometimes when whenever we are not there, we uh, uh, keep it with my uh, friend. Then she tells me that he cries. Mm -hmm. uh, actual tears come out, and then I, I asked her, "How do you know that they cry?" because that was the initial stage i also didn't know then she says that like it there is kind of a long uh, uh, cry and then tears also come out in my absence so how what should i uh, what should we how should we take it is it because of their long association with uh, humans they yeah. develop some kind of feeling is it so see with uh, the long association with the human being and the human beings' feelings, the human beings, uh, you know, as a unit, there is reflection onto, you know, the self of the human being, the feeling, all of that will be reflected onto the animal also. So the animal will reciprocate. And so, you know, some amount of development slowly starts happening. 
So this is a a process of continuum. It's not like um, a dissimilar cell. It is a self which is having a certain level of development. Therefore, it associates with the animal body. Now, when it comes in contact with a human cell, right? Some amount of impact definitely it will have. No, the human oh. cell will have on the animal cell, and slowly that possibility emerges, and perhaps you know later the, down the line this self in the animal will then associate with the human body whenever it's ready, whenever oh. it feels the need to, you know, understand and yeah. things like that. So that is how it is like a continuum. It is a process of development oh. in the cell. But you, you know, when we talk of um, largely in the animal cell, it is at the level of selecting taste. Now, slowly, oh. you know, some processes will start developing. Some things are in response to the human being. The human self interaction. So you will find that um, dogs in the hills, for instance, they seem to be less ferocious. They are less aggressive. If you notice, oh. hmm? yeah, As yeah, yeah. To dogs in the plains, dogs in the hills are less aggressive. And you will also notice that. Human beings in the hills seem to be more calm, largely, right. Right. as oh. compared to human beings in the plains, as a percentage, if you see. So now you can see that when these dogs are in the presence of cells, you know, human beings, human cells who are more calm, they also tend to be you know, reflecting that in a similar manner. So you will find such differences. It's very interesting to reflect on this and then, you know, you'll see that this is happening. This is a process of evolution that is unfolding. So the self is also developing slowly and according to oh. its stage of developing, it is choosing an animal body or a human body. Uh, okay, our own pet dog, we give food and we pamper and all, that is different. But what about this stray dog? Like yeah. why it doesn't go away from the back, but it follows me and then it goes out. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and you will notice that, you know, these are the, you know, these kind of dogs or these such animals, they, uh, they themselves seem to want human company or they, you know, Hmm. want to be in human company. Not all do all dogs will want that. Not all stray dogs. Are yeah, that yeah. This particular there is a pack of dogs, well, street dogs. But this particular dog, I have always yeah. noticed. So you will find it stray, makes You will find stray exceptions as that self is developing you know, slowly. But yeah, largely, even I feel that. Yeah. So largely, so if we. So I generally refer to stray dogs because there you will get the larger percentage of how the animal really is in nature. Oh. Of course, when the dog is in the company of a human being, then many things change in the dog. Right? Yeah. So that we can appreciate. Yes. Yes. Now, um, I think we should go forward to the exercise. If you recall, in exercise one, we spoke of steps one, two, and three. In step one, we said we need to observe the imagination. And with the observation of the imagination, we said particularly our focus can be on the feeling. When our focus is on the feeling, of course, we are looking at the entire imagination. We are observing the imagination. We are observing the feeling, the thought, the expectation. But our focus is largely on the feeling. And in step one, we are just observing. Not trying to change this feeling. Not trying to see whether it's the right feeling, wrong feeling. Not trying to evaluate it. Not trying to do anything with it. 
just observing it not trying to stop it just observing so we did that and then in step 2 we were evaluating this feeling and seeing if it is naturally acceptable to us or not naturally acceptable to us do we want the continuity of that feeling that we are having at any moment or we don't want to have the continuity of that feeling right then in step 3 we also looked at you know whether this feeling that i have at any moment with that am i comfortable within am i you know in harmony within or am i not in harmony am i uncomfortable or unhappy with that feeling so this much we looked at in steps 1 2 and 3 of exercise 1 now we will look at step 4 now we are coming to step 4 now we ask this question this feeling that i am having at any moment that i have observed in myself that i have seen i have evaluated to be naturally acceptable or not naturally acceptable which i have been able to see is leading to my happiness or unhappiness who is deciding this feeling that i have at any moment is it some external physical condition that is deciding my feeling is it another human being who is deciding that feeling or is it i myself who is deciding that feeling so when we ask this question to ourselves what seems to be the answer that we get is the person or the situation outside deciding my feeling or I myself so we are getting some answers in the chat more of us can respond so far we have got myself so perhaps we can see this that I am the one who is taking the decision isn't it for this feeling I am the one who is deciding this feeling the thought that I have at any moment somebody outside cannot decide for me i am deciding but sometimes what happens the other person or the situation outside may seem to act like a trigger like there is a situation outside and when that is there i seem to make this choice so it looks like because of that i have this feeling like i'll give an example Supposing I am doing something that I really enjoy doing. I am happy to work at my desk and I expect to work at my desk comfortably, um, do my work for one hour. But in between, somebody comes along and asks me some question once, twice, thrice, four times. Now I get irritated. And I look around and say, don't irritate me. Now ask yourself, is that other person irritating me or the other person was a trigger that made me decide to have that feeling within? Now what do you think? Is the other person deciding for me? Is the other person responsible for my feeling or am I responsible for my feeling? The other person is a trigger or the other person is responsible for my feeling so i am responsible this also we can see very clearly nice other he or she can only act like a trigger but ultimately i am the one who is deciding the decision maker is me isn't it any situation outside can be a trigger but it can't decide my feeling for me so this should be very clear. So now I can see that I am happy or unhappy, we said, based on my feeling. And I can see that I am deciding my feeling. 
सो दिस मीन्स दैट आई एम डिसाइडिंग चूजिंग टू बी हैप्पी और अनहैप्पी इज इंट इट इट साउंड वेरी ऑर्ड समाइम्स टू से दैट आई एम चूजिंग टू बी unhappy are bhai why would i choose to be unhappy if i can see that i want to be happy but in our mistaken you know the way we perceive things how we look at it is i was happy i was fine i was okay this person came along and irritated me so every time now we say such words let's reflect and see is the other person really irritating me or am i you know having this feeling within by my choice it is my decision and just as i have decided to have this feeling which is not in line with natural acceptance which is leaving me in disharmony unhappy i as well have the choice to have the right feeling the one that is in line with the natural acceptance the one that is in line with you know what is natural for me what i want the continuity of and that leaves me in harmony happy yes can we go to the next slide yes so this is very significant this step can be you know and i open up sometimes if we you know when we look at it the first time when we look at it fresh we eventually will see that i am the one who is 100% responsible for my own happiness or unhappiness nobody outside can decide my feeling for me isn't it so it is me who is taking the decision or the feeling that i have at any moment isn't it and based on this i am happy or unhappy so it is very clear that i am 100% responsible for my happiness or unhappiness so then when i am able to see this and i am able to understand this it will lead to two things two very important conclusions i'll be able to draw from this one is i become willing to take responsibility for whatever feeling i have earlier i may have thought that one this one the government the system so and so all these are responsible for my unhappiness otherwise i was fine but now i can see i sh- i can take responsibility that this is my decision so i will start working for my own transformation for trying to have the right feeling within me based on my natural acceptance i will make effort for my own self development that is one thing that will start the other thing that will happen is you will find you stop or you you know the complaining about the others starts declining now you can see that the other human being the situation it's only a trigger they are not responsible for my unhappiness ultimately i am the one who is responsible for my happiness or unhappiness they are only acting as a trigger so now you have no complaints against anyone earlier we may have said this one doesn't do this that one doesn't do that and we have complaining just means we can we are not comfortable and so that's why we keep complaining about the other person but when we have the right feeling when we are comfortable within now we may see our role our participation you know as we start working on making effort on the right feeling in line with the natural acceptance slowly we are able to see our role our participation so it may be you know happening in two phases so first stage might be that the other shouts but i am not so affected now because i am trying to explore this that i am deciding my feeling so if the other person is shouting i need not shout back my feeling is not being controlled by the other person i am responsible for my feeling 
so i don't shout that so that itself is very elevating you know you feel very good because now you know you don't have this discomfort from the wrong kind of feeling in the second phase what will happen is when i have the right feeling within myself now i will see that the other person is shouting because he also doesn't have the right feeling it's not that he was shouting at me he was just expressing the discomfort within himself so now my concern is see how i have benefited and i have been able to be happy with the right feeling in myself how can i help him be happy so now my concern is to help the other this is my participation so we see it a lot of times in two phases in one phase we are just comfortable within the chalo at least i don't have this discomfort so i feel very good in the next phase we start seeing what is my role what can i do to help the other now i am starting to see things from their perspective because i can understand it in myself i am able to see it in the other also so earlier i may have thought yeah so this is just an example so if we look at this now what happens when someone says something rash or abusive to me harsh or abusive to me so if we see what is happening here that sound is reaching my ears no it has to reach my ears only then will i hear it i also have to pay attention to it if i am paying attention to something else i will not be able to hear it so i have to pay attention to it then i have to listen to the words right with that now i have to think about the, those words and interpret those words that is happening within me so i will draw some conclusion from that isn't it now the feeling that i now have within me is it decided by me or the other person same thing same kind of question that i asked you earlier it's just there's little more um, detail in this we can still see that it is me isn't it who is deciding the feeling the other person has said some words but i am the one who is deciding the feeling so if we go further and we we look at it like this that suppose the other person has some problem has some psychiatric problem doesn't understand what they are saying no the other person is just saying something is not able to understand what he is saying he has got some psychiatric problem now what is my feeling for that person how will i feel will i be irritated will i have feeling of opposition or maybe pity hmm? what will be my feeling can you answer in the chat this other person has some psychiatric problem and is saying some words which may be harsh which may be abusive see now we have a feeling of pity for that person why because we have given this meaning that this person has a problem so therefore he is acting like this isn't it so we have pity we don't have feeling of opposition why is this because the words are the same those abusive words the harsh way he said them all that is the same but what has changed what has changed now is my interpretation of the words that he said so if you see the stimulus from outside is the same but my feeling has changed because 
of the way I have interpreted the situation, the way I have interpreted the other words. So in other words, it becomes very clear now that I am deciding to have a particular feeling and it's on the basis of whatever interpretation I have given to the other person, to the situation outside and so on. So this, whatever I have interpreted can be on the basis of some assumptions that I have or can be on the basis of right understanding. So when I deal with assumptions and I don't have the right understanding, now, you know, depends what is my assumption. If I assume that the other person is in problem, then I have a feeling of pity. If I assume that the other person, you know, has uh, some, is trying to shout at me, then I interpret it differently. And so I have a feeling of opposition. And if you see, you know how in uh, sometimes in psychiatric uh, places and others, anger has been referred to as temporary insanity. And people have had court cases and things like that. On this basis, they have been able to fight cases and all. But anger is sometimes referred to as temporary insanity. So you will see that, that also these kind of feelings that we have are also a sort of a continuum. We def define something as right or wrong. We define something as acceptable or non-acceptable. But in fact, you know, it is something which is uh, based on our own interpretation. But if you see, a lot of times, this is what is happening with us also. We also react in a moment of anger. And at that time, we can't choose properly. We don't make right decisions. So that's why they call it temporary insanity. Look at this for yourself for the next 24 hours in every incident and interaction with others. Try to evaluate your feeling and ask yourself, who is deciding this feeling? Someone else, the circumstance outside, or myself? Who is responsible for my happiness or unhappiness? Someone else, circumstance outside, or myself? If we do this, you know, again and again and again, we ask ourselves this question, then it becomes very, you know, it's like a habit. It starts happening almost spontaneously. But initially, we have to make effort, we have to remind ourselves, and we have to ask this. So we'll do that for today. Uh, Didi, um, we were talking about some psychiatric problems and all. Uh, just want to um, say that I am under medication for uh, some these kind of problems uh, since last 28 years uh, mm -hmm. when I was in class 9th. And uh, we, uh, these USV sessions mm -hmm. are helping me a lot. Uh, in nice. fact, I think better than medications also. Yes. Because okay. I was on medication since last 28 years. I am still, though I am still taking those medicines for my bipolar disorder, but uh, the change in thought process has been triggered by this USB session, Didi. Yes. yes. And that is helping me a lot. Wonderful. Because I would, I would encourage you to note this down and share it, you know, in a written manner with us so that you know, we can help others also with such problems because problem is in the self and we keep trying to treat the body with medication. So obviously, you know, if we are treating the body and the problem is in the self, then there is going to be, you know, the result will not be so good. But if we are working on the self and if we are exploring within, we can see that change happening. So very wonderful that sharing that you have just given. And thank you. Thank you so much for this uh, another enriching session. We have started uh, the step number four of exercise one today. We will continue this tomorrow.